Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to prescribe a time-varying waveform as your boundary condition through GEMBC. And so the concept of how to do that is actually very simple. So here's your uh, an example user.f. And the way that we're going to prescribe this time-varying periodic waveform is that we're going to represent it as a Fourier series in user.f. And this is how you do it. So you enter the Fourier coefficients um, and then you have an equation right here that constructs the Fourier series based on these coefficients. And so this is the equation right here. If you want to, you can look up Fourier series and then and that'll help you understand why the equation is the way it is. Um, but this equation transforms the, uh, the coefficients into a time domain waveform. And so in this equation you've got uh, your time, uh, this is the your time point in the cardiac cycle and then here's your uh, cardiac period. And so you can set these two values um, beforehand so that um, so you can get the correct uh, the cardiac cycle that you want. And so I'm going to show you, and, and this is all it is, um, once you construct this waveform, you can then prescribe the waveform to any of your variables. So you can prescribe if you, you can prescribe it as a pressure or as a flow or as a resistance. Um, you can essentially use the same trick um, to prescribe a time varying waveform for anything. And so how do we get these for your coefficients? And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, so first of all, you need if you want to prescribe a, a waveform, you need to have your waveform. And so what you need to do is you, you need to put your waveform into a text file um, and essentially just with the values that you want. And these values should contain one cycle of data. And so once you have that, um, I've got a, a MATLAB script here that you can use to generate the Fourier coefficients. And so let's take a look at the script. So here's a script. And so you've got your your input file name. And then here's the number of coefficients that you want. Um, so the higher the number, the more detailed you can get the waveform. But if, if it's too high, then sometimes you get some ringing issues. If it's too low, then you might not be able to capture the details in your waveform. And then here you have the option of do some smoothing because sometimes your raw data in the data in your waveform is not so clean and so it could produce um, some artificial ringing uh, that you want you don't want to so you have the options of uh, doing some smoothing and basically that's it and the, the script generates the code that you can directly copy into user.f um, and use as your as your for your uh, coefficient. So let's try to run the script and see what happens. Let's just set, let's say, let's set the uh, coefficient to 20 and I'm going to run the script and it produces um, your original waveform and then it overlays the reconstruction from the Fourier series on top of it to let you see how good the approximation is. And so, you know, we've got 20 modes right now and so the fit is really good. Um, the two lines are essentially on top of each other, and but as you can see, here's the the coefficients that it generated, and a lot of it is zero at the higher frequencies. So that means you don't need so many modes. Um, and so let's see what happens if we, if we reduce this number. So I run it again, and now it's generated. Um, I think the blue here is your original waveform, and then the red is the um, the one that's constructed from the Fourier coefficients. And so you see that there's a little bit of a difference um, between the waveforms. And so you can play around with this number and see uh, what gives you the best results. And so after you run the script, you essentially, this is all you need. So right here, you can copy this whole block and make sure you copy the spaces in front of here as well. Um, otherwise, Fortran is not going to be happy and it's not going to compile. Um, so I copy this 
and I go back to my user data and I basically just replace this um, Fourier coefficient block with my values. And so since I use I used uh, 10 Fourier modes, I'm gonna have to go back in the declaration. So anytime you use um, a variable, you need to declare it first in Fortran, otherwise it's not gonna like it, it's not gonna compile. And so I'm gonna go back to my declaration here. So the variable waveform is already declared. The FT is my Fourier coefficients. Uh, since I used 10, I'm gonna change this to 10 so that it's reading the right thing. Um, and then right here, I'm gonna change. Since I only have I only have 10 modes, I did, I don't have 20 like I had before, so I'm gonna change this to 10. And that's it. So you've now finished editing your user .f, and then this code right now is going to generate your time-varying periodic waveform from a Fourier series for you.